Grigor Dimitrov playing lights out. Dimitrov doing work still. The greatness of Grigor Dimitrov on display tonight. I feel like I've had a lot of experience and I think I'm also at the age where the maturity comes in, uh, experience comes in, the love for the sports kicks in more. You try to understand more of yourself, more of your surroundings, more of who you want to have around, the upside of certain things, the disappointment and how to handle things. So um, and I'm trying to treat those two impostors very differently in the sense that Nothing is ever that good, but nothing is ever that bad. So I think it's, I guess it's also finding some sort of a balance when you put all that together. I think it's a magical time and I feel I'm, I'm in a very interesting time in, in my life, in my career. Uh, I don't take it for granted and I'm running my own race right now. I feel like I'm on my own quest. What's next? What do I want more? Whether it's on or off the court. So it's been a very intriguing period of my life, so to speak. My mom, she always connects with people. She knows how to connect with people uh, from very different backgrounds. She's a school teacher. I often speak to her. She's like, oh, you know, I'm trying to motivate these kids by saying this and doing that. She always tries to connect with people and kind of rattles them and wants to get you out of the comfort zone to, for you to express yourself without any judgment. It's just she always wants to see the person from within. And I think this is something that I think has been the biggest trait in a way that my mom has always given me. My dad is totally the opposite. I think I've kind of gotten the best from both worlds because just as I feel like I can be in a surroundings with many people, players, officials and so on, I can definitely be on my own and just enjoy walking, you know, for a walk in the desert. The biggest thing for me is always to be yourself and I think speak the truth in that sense. But everyone has like I think a good heart and all that, but it's also how you use it and to express yourself. I think for me this part has always been very strong and I always wanted to, to keep that way with the risk of maybe getting on the wrong side of some people and like being judged. I'm okay with that as long as I'm true to myself and true to my heart and I think to the people that are around me. I think that itself already like it propels you to be a, a good person and it sets up a very good and high standards for, for life.